Hello everyone, and welcome back to Miss the Dark Spectrum. A study by researchers at Northern Illinois University suggests that 911 dispatchers are at risk for developing symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder from indirect exposure from trauma. What you are about to hear is five real disturbing 911 calls. Before the video begin, I would like to say if you are easily affected by hearing distress, please exit this video now. This is top 5 disturbing 911 calls. On February 16th, 2009, a 200-pound pet chimpanzee named Travis attacked 55-year-old Charla Nash, inflicting devastating injuries to her face and limbs. Travis had left the house with Sandra Harrow's car keys, the owner of the chimp. Nash came to help get Travis back in the house. Upon seeing Nash holding a Tickle Me Elmo, one of his favorite toys, Travis flew into a rage and attacked her. Sandra, at this point, believing Nash to be dead, called 911. Travis the chimpanzee was killed after trying to attack the officers. Stand for 911. Where's your emergency? Oh, send the police. What's the problem there? The, the chimp killed my, my friend. What's the problem with your friend? Oh, please. What's the problem with your friend? I need to know. Send the police. With a gun! With a gun! Hurry up! Please, hurry up! He's killing my girlfriend! What is the problem? He's killing my friend! Who's killing your friend? My chimpanzee! Oh, your chimpanzee is killing your friend! Yes. What is the monkey doing? Tell me what the monkey... He, he ripped her face off! He ripped her face off? He tried to... Trying to attack me! Please, please, Okay, hurry. I need you to calm down a little bit. They're on the way. Please. If the monkey moves away from your friend, let me know, okay? So we can try to help your friend. No, no, I can't. She's dead. She's dead. Why Why are you saying that she's dead? She's dead. He ripped her apart. He ripped what apart? Her face? Everything. He ripped her apart? I think, I think I'm going to say... I think I'm going to yeah, no, no, just breathe, okay? I'm going to stay with you on the phone until they get there. Listen to me. Please, hurry. Please, please, hurry. <laughs> oh, my God. they got to have their guns out. They gotta have their guns out. Listen to me. Oh my god. Is this your monkey or whose monkey yes. is it? It's your monkey. No, it's mine. It's how how do you know how big is he? How, yes, how many 200 pounds? Four hundred? Two hundred. Two hundred pounds? Listen to me, please. Where are they? Where are they? And he's a chimp, correct? Yes. Where where are they? They're going your way. They're going as fast as they can your way, okay? Please. Please, go faster. Please, please, just please, please, please. Is the monkey still by your friend or can you get close to your friend? He is a Please, God, no, please. On May 18th, 2012, 75 year old Sandra Lane would be charged with the shooting death of her 17 year old grandson, Jonathan Huffman. Huffman called 911 after being shot three times and told dispatchers, quote, I've just been shot. My grandmother shot me. I'm going to die. Help. End quote. While still on the phone with operators, Lane apparently shot Huffman again, the sounds of which were captured on the 911 call. When police arrived on the scene, she was ordered to put the gun down. The first thing she says to officers is, quote, I murdered my grandson, end quote. An autopsy revealed that Huffman was shot a total of five times, three times in his chest, once in the abdomen, and once in his left arm. After it was determined that Huffman was attempting to leave the house at the time of the shooting, Sandra's plea of self-defense was denied. She was charged with the murder of her grandson and sentenced to 40 years in prison. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Oh, I've just been shot. What? I've just been shot. Where are you at? Okay. 
July 26th, 2009, officers responded to a 911 call that was so disturbing that the San Antonio Police Department has provided counseling service for some officers who entered the home. 33-year-old Adi Sanchez confessed to killing her newborn son, Scott Wesley Sanchez, with a steak knife and two swords before mutilating the corpse and eating body parts that included the brain, nose, and toes. It was later determined by the family that Adi had been diagnosed with schizophrenia and postpartum psychosis before the slaying. Police said the sister, the two children, and Sanchez's mother was in the home at the time of the slaying. The adult women had each taken turns caring for baby Scotty at night so that they could get sleep in shifts. Sanchez's shift began at 1.30 p.m. Her sister discovered the body at about 4.30 that morning and called 911. Oh my God. San Antonio Fire and Emergency, how can we help you? I need an MPS at 351 Wayside Drive. 351 Wayside? Yes. The house or an apartment? It's a house. It's an emergency. Okay. And what's going on with the emergency? I'm sorry? What's the emergency? What's going on? My sister, she's her, her child, 
Hello? Hello? Tell me what's going on. Don't talk to the other people. Talk to me. My sister has... She's hurt her child. Seriously, you hurt her child. How did she do that? What's the, going on with the child? The baby is dead. She has... What did she say? The baby is dead. How old is the baby? The baby is three weeks... Not even three weeks old. Three weeks old? Not even three weeks old. Please. What did she do to him? Oh, or, or her. She stabbed him. There's blood all over the head. There's, I don't know. Alright, ma'am. Stay on the line for me. I've got to connect you up to the police, okay? Stay on the line. Alright. Where is your sister at? You say that, say that, I'll be there. I'm sorry. Priscilla, where's your sister at? She's just sitting on the couch. She's just gone crazy last night. She was hearing voices. She kept bringing me the baby, and finally she calmed down, and I took her back to the baby. And then now I just woke up to her screaming. Okay, how old is the baby? Not even three weeks old. She's, 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 the baby's dead. The baby's dead. She needs somebody come. Okay, and there are other ways, buddy, okay? Uh, I need the keys so I can open the front door. Oh, my God. Ma'am? Ma'am? Yes, yes. Do not touch the baby. Don't disturb anything in the area there, okay? Right. My mom, right. my mom was holding the baby. Okay. My All mom right. was holding the baby. She right. the baby down. All right. <laughs> In this next 911 call, a child is put through something that she should have never had to experience. In this 911 call, a young girl calls police to say she's just come home to find her brother dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The little girl identifies herself as Nikki, telling the operator, quote, my brother's dead, end quote. According to sources, the information surrounding this call has been concealed for privacy reasons. George Duchar, director of the suicide intervention training in New Orleans, uses this very 911 call. He's trying to prepare his New Orleans Police Department dispatchers for the emotion and horror they will face should they ever receive such a call. Emergency 911. Help me, my brother's dead. What's your name? Nikki. What do you mean by your brother's dead? He killed himself. How did he do it? With the gun! Okay, are you home alone? But I'm uh, home alone with my sister! Okay, get some of your queen! Did you just find him, Nikki? Yeah, no, he's dead! <laughs> Nikki, stay on the phone with me, hon, okay? <laughs> what did you do it? Nikki, I've got help on the way. You just wait a minute, okay? Quick, please! September 18th, 2014, a Florida grandfather calmly tells the dispatchers that he had killed his daughter and her six children and planned to shoot himself when police arrive. Don Spirit, who had an extensive criminal record, had served time for illegal possession of a gun in connection with the fatal shooting of his eight-year-old son Kyle in 2001. As he vowed in his 911 call, Don Spirit shot himself after deputies arrived. No clear definitive motive was ever determined why Don Spirit committed this mass suicide murder. Thank you, Chris County 911. What's the address of the emergency? Yes, ma'am. I, I, um, I just shot my daughter and shot all my grandkids, and I'll be sitting on my step, and when you get here, I'm gonna shoot myself. What is the address that you're at, sir? 
2550 Northwest, 25 Paris, downstairs. There, there, every one of them are dead. Hey, you said your name is Don Spirit? Yep. All right, Don, what kind of gun do you have? It doesn't matter what kind of gun I got. They're all dead, and then when you get here, I'll shoot myself, and then you figure out what kind of gun it is. And how long has this happened, Don? I, I, I don't want to hear it, man. I'm done with all every fucking thing. Just bring the motherfuckers out here, that's all. You got all the kids are dead in the house. Okay, how many people? Okay, how many people? Six kids, one adult. Six kids and one adult? Yeah. One of them is a baby. Alright, Don, is there any way you can stay on the phone with me until I get somebody there to help you? What's that? Can I ha have you stay on the phone with me? No, I, no, not that. I'm waiting for them to get here. When they get here, I'm going to shoot myself on my back step. All I'm doing is waiting for them. Okay, so you on your back steps? Yep. Okay, Don. Um, 